Welcome back to Sunday Night in America. Last week, we brought you the story of Jared Price, a man convicted of murder, sentenced to 35 years in prison, but released more than a decade early. A Democrat legislator and a Democrat prosecutor got a judge to sign a secret order. Law enforcement didn't know about it. Victims didn't know about it. You didn't know about it. Our next guest took the matter to the South Carolina Supreme Court and asked that Jared Price be returned to prison. The Supreme Court agreed in a three to two decision, but before they can put him back in prison, first they got to find him. Joining us now is the Attorney General for the great state of South Carolina, Alan Wilson. General, you went before the Supreme Court. Apparently you convinced three out of five justices to agree with you. How did you do that? And what were the questions you got from the justices? Well, first off, Trey, the first thing we let off with is, is you can't have an attorney, a criminal defense attorney, a prosecutor and a judge uh, enter into an agreement to illegally deprive people of their constitutional rights, namely victims. You also can't have them enter into an agreement to circumvent the mandated laws that the General Assembly has passed that requires them to follow a process, meaning have a motion, have a hearing in the broad daylight so that people can see it. What you had is, is you had a prosecutor and you had a criminal defense attorney who coincidentally happens to be in the General Assembly, approach a judge who was on his last day before retiring and enter into an agreement that voided all of those requirements. No hearing, no motion, and then the order was sealed. We let off with that with the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court's concern was, well, why should they take it up? And our argument was, you're the Supreme Court, and you, under our Constitution, should police the um, integrity of the orders coming out of your judges, just like I am policing conduct of our solicitors here in South Carolina. You know, General, you are, you're a lawyer, you're attorney general, you're not an investigator, but I'm going to ask you anyway whether or not you have learned or whether or not you know, did the prosecutor initiate this? Was it the lawyer legislator that you and I both made reference to? I mean, God knows it wasn't the judge who came up with this idea. Wh whose idea was it to go to the judge, the prosecutor or the defense attorney? Well, it was the defense attorney's petition. Uh, the defense attorney petitioned the judge, and then in the, in the facts of the petition was that there was a motion. And, of course, the motion was verbal, oral, was in the judge's chambers, uh, literally on the last day of the judge being in office. So, I mean, there was no formal motion, but it was on petition of the defense attorney. So that's how it happened. Notably, Trey, um, we are grateful that the Supreme Court took up this case so quickly. Um, however, I sent a letter to the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court last Friday, five days ahead of this hearing, saying, listen, we appreciate you taking the hearing so quickly. However, this person is a convicted murderer who has 16 years hanging over his head. He's a flight risk and a danger to the community. Can we go ahead and bring him in? He's not on probation. He's not out on bond. There's nothing that requires him be here. He is free. And ask them to go ahead and issue the bench warrant. Um, sadly, they didn't do that. And when the hearing occurred, he, he went to the wind. We can't find him, as far as I know. And I'm guessing, General, that uh, when and if he is found, um, is there a bench warrant out for him or, or, or are we just asking? I assume that there's like a formal, formal request that he go turn himself back in. Is he entitled to a hearing at that point on whether or not his assistance no. rises to the level of a downward, of a downward departure? Well, Trey, about two hours after we argued our case before the Supreme Court, they issued an order vacating, um, basically vacating the judge's order that released him and remanding him back to the Department of Corrections. They have not provided their justification yet. They said in the order that they were going to provide an opinion at some point in the future, uh, describing why they were dissenting, why, what the majority's reasons were. We haven't gotten their justification yet, but they have vacated the order releasing him from pris prison, and they have issued a bench warrant. So he is now a wanted man. General Alan Wilson, the Attorney General for the state of South Carolina, I know that you will keep following this, and we will as well. Thank you for joining us on a Sunday night. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.